Good afternoon. Welcome to the midday mall, or in this case, a fairly late afternoon mall for Saturday, the 27th of May. With Robert Murray McShane, we keep working our way through the book of Numbers, amongst other things. And today we read Numbers chapter 36, a passage looking at the inheritance of a man called Zelophehad's daughter. Now, earlier on, they had come to Moses and said, our father has no sons. He just has, I think it was five daughters. Why should his land not um, be passed on to his progeny? Why should it all end up going to his brother? And Moses sought the Lord and the Lord said, yes, the daughters should inherit. Um, and now uh, they had were going to inherit. And now the, the rest of the tribe came and said, but hold on. If these daughters marry outside of the clan, their father's land will then move out of the tribe and move to one of the other tribes. And so uh, a regulation is given in verse 8. Every daughter who inherits land in any Israelite tribe must marry someone in her father's tribal clan so that every Israelite will possess the inheritance of their ancestors. No inheritance may pass from one tribe to another. Another way that I thought, yeah, we've got... Uh, regulations given to uh, manage a, a compli complicated situation. But it was also interesting that uh, a regulation could have been where a man has no sons, his property must pass to his closest male relative. And in many completely patriarchal societies, that is what happens. Uh, the daughters lose out. They don't get anything. It goes to the, the closest male. Um, and we saw quite recently in England that that was the, the, the case with, um, with the, um, uh, the, the royal family, where the, the, the crown went to the oldest male, even if there wasn't an older daughter. And if there weren't any males, the, it could go to the daughter. And they've changed that, and it now goes to the oldest daughter. But in Israel... Um, in a patriarchal time, when so many other places would just write women off, a regulation was given about the inheritance of daughters and how they should be um, uh, managed so that the, the, the justice of the tribal possessions remained intact. And I just thought it's very easy for people to uh, dismiss the Old Testament and say it's all patriarchal, and, uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a far more nuanced text than that. And so here we have uh, trying to maintain tribal integrity and the, uh, the integrity of the tribal property and at the same time looking after justice and, and what, what is right when a man has no, no sons and how, when his daughters inherit. Um, so God not only maintains law, but is also fair and compassionate and loving. And that needs to be an encouragement to us. Be blessed.